Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today we have so much to discuss on the iOS 14 jailbreak front and to be perfectly honest, I wasn't even expecting to make a second iOS 14 jailbreak update so soon following the first one. If you happen to miss that, check it out in your cards now as well as down below in the description. It's super important. But anyway, as the title of this video reads, yes, an iOS 14 jailbreak was released. <laughs> Sort of though, I mean, don't get too excited. It's definitely not for the latest devices and it's also not even for the latest ones included by the Checkmate exploit, which would be the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 series devices. So this is definitely a sort of preliminary first step for the CheckRain team to get their utility working on iOS 14. And yes, this is CheckRain, which again will never include support for A12 and A13 power devices being the iPhone XS through the iPhone 11 series. So let me just save you guys some time if you are new device owners. Definitely check out this site right here, jailbreakcheck.com, and it is essentially our jailbreak status update page on best tech info. It's dynamic, which means that it's constantly updated with the latest information pertaining to jailbreaking. And you'll notice right here when we go on to talk about newer devices on iOS 14, we state, quote, newer devices, however, such as the iPhone XS and iPhone 11 will require more work. They will need what's known as a kernel exploit, which side note is what we've had for every newer jailbreak release that is not check rain. So of course I'm talking on cover right now, which is not nearly as low level as the checkmate exploit in check rain and therefore easily patched by Apple or patchable rather. Now for this reason, it's crucial that your device maintains a jailbreakable firmware. And with iOS 14's release, it's recommended that you avoid updating entirely until we have guidance from developers. Now the window will be small, but we will know in advance which iOS 14 firmware or firmware firmwares are most suitable for jailbreaking and I will definitely let you guys know here on the channel as well as on jailbreakcheck.com through this status update checker page. And again, matters are further complicated by the fact that Apple is now no longer signing iOS 13.7. So if you wanted to downgrade and you're on iOS 14, unfortunately you just can't. However, if you're already on iOS 13.7 or lower, then definitely stay where you're at and avoid updating to iOS 14 until we have a better indication that a solution is on the horizon. And if you want to know why your best bet is on iOS 13.7 on these newer devices, then definitely check out my first jailbreak update for iOS 14. I go into that in great length. I don't really want to talk about that here in today's video or detract too much from the first iOS 14 jailbreak. Because again, although it is very limited in device support, it is super excited we already have iOS 14 jailbroken guys whether it be a boot rom based exploit or not this is definitely a huge achievement and big round of applause and huge props to the check rain development team now I don't really want to release a video on this jailbreak because again it means that 99% of device owners that would be included in check rain are essentially left out so again iOS 14 jailbreak status there's not really an iOS 14 jailbreak for 99% of devices. So let's get into exactly what we're talking about. If you have a newer device and you're interested in this, because again, this will impact jailbreaking, no matter your device and whether it is supported, then definitely stick around. Otherwise you can hop off this video. But if you want to see why it's important, then again, like I said, watch through it. So CheckRain was released to include preliminary iOS 14 jailbreak support. However, this cannot be stressed enough. This only includes support for the A9X and lower. Now, this means that the only devices that can jailbreak iOS 14 right now are as follows. The iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and SE, the iPad 5th generation, iPad Air 2, iPad Mini 4, iPad Pro 1st generation, and the Apple TV 4 and Apple TV 4 
8K, which while it definitely has a processor past the A9X, it does not have the same SEP or secure enclave processor that we have on the A series found in the iOS devices and also iPad OS with the iPad Pro there. So let me just dismiss Siri. Um, now, this is because in addition to the aforementioned devices following under the umbrella of the limited check range jailbreak, iOS 14 changed things. Now Apple has basically added extra security precautions in iOS 14. In layman's terms, they're more or less leveraging the secure enclave on the A10 and higher to block jailbreaking. That's why it doesn't work past the iPhone 6s and iPhone SE, essentially if you have an iPhone wanting to jailbreak on iOS 14. Now in iOS 14, if the secure enclave on A10 and newer detects a request to decrypt user data, it will cause the device to panic. This is very tricky stuff on Apple's security front in an attempt to block check rain. So don't get this confused. This was very much a direct attempt from Apple to prevent users from jailbreaking. And unfortunately, this does have negative ramifications. Once CheckRain is able to fully defeat this, it means you're going to have a less secure device if you opt to go with jailbreaking, which is rather unfortunate because of course this means defeating the secure enclave rather than working in addition to it or around it. Now again, for iOS 14 and jailbreaking. This means that the iPhone 10, the newest device supported by CheckRain's boot ROM exploit isn't covered by this release. In fact, as stated previously, nothing past the iPhone 6S is. This is very bad for jailbreakers who relied on CheckRain. However, don't fear, all hope isn't lost. The recent Blackbird vulnerability has enabled the CheckRain team to gain control over the secure enclave on both A10 and A10X CPUs. Now, this will allow them to effectively disable the previously mentioned new mitigation techniques in iOS 14, and the team reports that they expect this to quote, be ready in the coming weeks. So of course, stay tuned for updates on that. As we know, development takes time and soon enough, CheckRain will be able to jailbreak iOS 14 for more devices supported by the main Checkmate vulnerability, which is not patched. Now this is because their processors have a hardware flaw in them that cannot be patched by Apple. And while CheckRain does not currently work with iOS 14 for the vast majority of devices included under the Checkmate exploit, it will at some point soon pending said updates. And while this is easier said than done, it definitely won't be nearly as complex as developing an entirely new tool or starting from the ground up. Now, we actually have a brand new update as of today on the SCP ROM exploit for Secure Enclave. Hacker Luca Tedesco, who is the lead at the CheckRain development team, tweeted out, quote, I have a few thoughts on shipping a SCP exploit in release CheckRain. On one hand, I am super hyped that we were able to at least reclaim all but 8015 with it. On the other, there's no denying that this move has some collateral consequences. Now, again, he notes that, quote, we were able to at least reclaim all but 8015 with it. Now, 8015 refers to the T8015, and that's the A11 CPU that powers the iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 series devices. So this is likely an exploit derived from the aforementioned Blackbird vulnerability. So that's basically everything we have up until this point, guys. I also wanted to state that, yes, I am reading from this article on my site. However, I wrote it in its entirety. I just wanted to parse through all of the latest things that have gone on through the jailbreak community as of late and put it together in one condensed spot. So it's definitely easier to just go off of this instead of, again, basically redoing my work twice and doing a full-fledged script for this and including a bunch of fancy transitions and B-roll. So I really hope you guys like this and just appreciate these jailbreak update videos for what they truly are, just the information and the most important information at that. And one final note that I really wanna hit on before we conclude that I alluded to at the beginning of this video is why this is important for everyone, whether or not you have a device that will inevitably be supported by 
my check rein being hopefully the iPhone 10 and below or not one of the newer devices, iPhone 10s through iPhone 11 and beyond. So essentially check rein allows for a permanent jailbreak environment for security researchers. And that means that potentially we could have new kernel vulnerabilities and inevitably because of that, exploits discovered as a direct result of this jailbreak and what it means for security researchers. So again, CheckRain is absolutely fantastic on many levels, not just for us, the end jailbreakers, but also for the security researchers, which I've been saying from the very beginning. So now you guys know everything. And again, like I said, I tried to parse through it to provide you with the most relevant information possible as of now as it pertains to the iOS 14 jailbreak and its status. That's where things stand. Things are dynamic, never static. They always change. I'll keep you guys updated anytime we know anything else. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this one. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.